I am on the bootstrap website and what we are going to do is we have these buttons and we will try to create the similar button using bootstrap so let's see how we can do that well I am going to create a div and give it a margin left of it and margin top of it and over here I will define my button so let's Define a simple button and give it a text of primary. Let's check. And this is how it currently looks like. So let's uh, give it various uh, CSS properties. So I'm going to give it a class. First of all, I'll give it a background color using BG Blue 500 and text color using text white. Next, I'm going to give it a border radius using rounded. So let's see how it looks like. Okay, we can give a bit of padding. So I'm going to give it a padding of left and right using PX3. And top and bottom padding I am going to give using PY2. Well, this looks a bit better. I am also going to give it a font of bold to increase its font weight. And I'll also make the font a bit smaller using text SM. And there we go. This looks nice. However, if we check the bootstrap button, if we hover over here, we see that the text becomes a little bit darker. So let's see how we can do that in our case. In order to do that, we are going to check a new property which we haven't covered so far. It is known as hover followed by colon. Here we can give any class and that will automatically be applied when the user Overs over our HTML element. So in this case, we want to make the shade a bit darker. So I'm going to change the background color and the current shade is 500. So I'm going to increase it to 600. Uh, let's reload it now. And there we go. We are getting the same effect. So this is how easy it is to create a button using Tailwind. I'm going to copy it again and this blue one I will change to red on the hover as well and I'm going to make this text as danger and if I reload it we get these two buttons which look quite similar to the bootstrap buttons but we see over here in the tailwind it is so easy we can change the shade of blue any way we want we can increase the border radius we can change the padding we can change the color tailwind css makes all of it so very easy